Hey, this is Chris Maynard from CMIVFX. Today I'm going to take you through a basic workflow adjustment for the GoPro Hero cameras. Uh, I bought the stereoscopic 3D Hero system like you see here. Uh, this is basically a great way to do some alternative and extreme sports and capture the media. Uh, I do recommend anyone who has uh, extreme sports in their blood to please go ahead and buy these cameras and record it. The more footage, the better. Uh, later on today, a matter of fact, I'm actually taking these up into a helicopter. Uh, it's an ultralight helicopter that we're going to be using. It's pretty cool. Um, the, the reason why I'm doing this quick video is I want to take you guys through one uh, set of workflows to get this stuff to actually work. The first thing is, um, you know, the GoPro stuff, it comes in with a bit of blockiness. It is completely distorted, so if you ever wanted to put CG stuff in there like text or whatever and you wanted to seam up with the scene, tracking becomes a little bit tough at first, uh, but we have workarounds for all that stuff. So let's go ahead and start by showing you some of the clips. Okay, right here you can see that we have captured uh, some footage using my E Plus electric bike. I bought this electric bike um, back in Fort Lauderdale uh, when I needed it for a second car. Um, this is just starting to grow in popularity around the countryside. However, uh, what we did is we, we strapped the camera to the front handlebars, which gave us no reference point to uh, undistort. So we moved it back down to the uh, underneath the seat post so that we could grab some of the bike frame to get a nice way to remove some of that rolling shutter, which has a tremendous amount of rolling color and uh, the noise from all the frames is really bad too so we need to go ahead and remove some of that blockiness now if you look at the stereoscopic raw this is the stereoscopic footage um, this is just the undistorted or actually it's pre-distorted uh, rolling shutter still in it noise is totally there and you can take a look at it with your red and green glasses um, you can get this directly out of the GoPro software itself but this is not really good enough for any type of production uh, as far as I'm concerned. So uh, what we need to do is we need to remove this rolling shutter. And again, this bike was going about 30 miles an hour. We're zipping through the woods uh, on a downhill slope. And um, you can see that there's tons of movement happening all over the place, tons of noise everywhere. But you can get a halfway decent perspective, but check it out with your glasses. Uh, this is what we did in uh, PF Track. We had to remove the um, distortion. So we undistorted it based on uh, another grid shot that we used for the camera. And then we uh, added the shutter fix to help remove some of that rolling shutter, which I think did a pretty good job. You can see um, by scrolling back and forth between the two, the differences in the different footage. Um, the only thing that we could not take care of is some of that blocking noise. We tried to denoise it as much as possible by sampling different areas. But if you look at the, you know, where my hands are located and the handlebars, there's just not enough area to get a solid patch for doing the denoise. Now, you guys might not be seeing this in uh, super good speed, but this, this is what we did uh, afterwards. After I did undistorted it, we brought in the flame flame action and uh, reset the convergence and this is the shutter fixed and undistorted footage that we actually just punched in so uh, if you look at it with your uh, stereo or your anaglyph glasses you're going to see a much better result than the initial now of course uh, if you use the interleaved uh, you'd be uh, almost set but i hope that's a good enough example for you guys and if you want more details on how to do this stuff contact me at chris at cmivfx.com <laughs>